In lesson 23, we have what looks like a very advanced example. Let's see how we would do this. First, we have an x. Now we're told that we need to subtract twice the quantity of star plus 2, but there's no star plus 2 to subtract. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to have star plus 2, and we're also going to add the opposite of star plus 2, which is x and a negative 2. So all of this is really worth 0 right? So this part is 0. So all of this is another name for x because I've only added 0 to x. But now I can subtract star plus 2. So I can subtract star plus 2. But so far I've only subtracted star plus 2 once. I need to subtract star plus 2 a second time. So I can repeat the same process but if I do that I'm going to end up with another blue pawn and another green 2. And on the right side, I have a value of 5. To solve this problem, let's add a red 4 to each side. The green 4 and the red 4 drop out. 3x's are 9. That means that x is 3. Star would be worth negative 3. And to do the check, we reset the problem one more time. So I have an x, and I need to su subtract the quantity of star plus 2 twice. So I need to subtract star plus 2. I'm going to add star plus 2 and its opposite, which is x and a negative 2. And I'm going to do that a second time. Star plus 2 and the opposite, which is x and a negative 2. All of this is another name for x, because this is 0 and this is 0. I have not added anything. But now I can subtract twice the quantity of star plus 2. Here I can take star plus 2 once. And here I can take star plus 2 a second time. On the right side, I have a 5. Let's see if the value of x works. 3 and 3 is 6, and 3 is 9. 9 take away 2 is 7. Take away 2 is 5. And on the right side, I also have 5. So in lesson number 3, remember that if you need to subtract something that's not already on the balance, first add a convenient zero and then subtract the needed quantity. Please continue on your own and try the next example of Lesson 23.